and some of them more on the field than others, um, but they've all meant a lot to our program, and uh, and um, it's going to be hard to replace them. I, mean, I don't know if you do replace some of them, but um, you know, for our squad moving forward, you know, um, we need to continue to get better. Um, we need to continue to just be tough, probably tougher and be tough-minded next year. And um, you know, that's going to start from day one. You know, we we just have to have a little bit tougher attitude, I think, as, as we approach next year. Um, but back to those six seniors, um, you know, Beck has meant so much to us in the circle. She's pitched every big game since she's arrived on campus, and uh, we're having our hands full replacing her. Um, Ellen Holman is going to lead one of the all-time uh, leading hitters in the history of our programs from a batting average standpoint. And, you know, she was such a leader in so many ways, and, and not everybody knows, but she's playing with a complete tear in her ACL. So, you know, I think her teammates really drew a lot of inspiration from her to gut it out, to put a knee brace on, and, and to compete the way she did the, the last part of the season, really with no ACL. So, you know, that shows a lot of toughness there. So we talk about toughness, yet, you know, there's an example of a senior that had a lot of toughness as well. Blair Lowe was a walk-on who ended up uh, being a starter for us and a scholarship student-athlete. So, you know, we're going to miss a lot of these young ladies and, and what they've meant. Alexis Cantu, uh, a great left-handed hitter and really developed into a strong number two for us. Um, Mackenzie Michael um, and Brittany Tulutsky both have, have had great moments for us throughout their careers. So collectively, the six of them um, and the leadership that they provided this year, that's what's going to be tough to replace. Um, you know, we're going to bring in some good softball players and our, our returners need to get better, but, you know, the leadership that they provided is going to be tough. Coach, what did you think about the facility, the atmosphere, the Indies tournament here? I love the facility. Atmosphere was very good. Uh, facility is great. I think it's, uh, from my standpoint, this is where the Big East should have its uh, softball tournament every year. It, even though, I, and we understand it's not really a neutral site, even though it is, you know, obviously DePaul's the, you know, the home city, so, you know, we get that. But the atmosphere is great. Um, I think our kids and our student athletes deserve to play in a facility like this. And um, I thought the atmosphere, I mean, no disrespect, but a little bit of a carnival, carnival atmosphere, which I think is good, and uh, you know the media representation has been good. So I, I love the atmosphere. Coach, what would you say specifically were the keys for the victory for DePaul and how you played today? Well, we just got down early, and you know we we had to dig ourselves out of a hole again, and we and we found ourselves in that same situation at home um, when we played earlier in the year. So. And when you're facing a team that has won, only lost one time in the last 30 some games, and then you're facing the returning, you know, the pitcher of the year in the league, that's tough to overcome. And um, you know, so it, our focus was to have a great start. We didn't have the start we wanted, and I think you use a lot of energy just battling back. And um, you know, I, I think our heads got down early, and uh, we didn't have the start we wanted. We knew how important that was. We didn't want a repeat performance of what we saw in Omaha. Yeah, we had it. So I think their heads were down right away. Yeah, I got to give our kids credit for battling back and hanging in there and uh, scraping and scratching and getting a run on board. We, we never gave up, and our kids wouldn't do that, but um, you know, we just got down early.